Hi, it's Beth from Sweethearts and I'm here today with Alina and I'm going to show you how to do a climbing pull through braid. So there's loads of tutorials out there for the pull through, I think I've got about three or four, but this one's a bit different because it's going to start at the bottom and work the way up the head. So I hope you like it and you can like, comment on the video and ask me a question, I'll answer it for you. But you can also subscribe by clicking the bottom right hand side of your screen. To start this style, I've popped the hair into a pony, so I'm just going to turn it to show you. So I've left some little bits out at the front that I'm going to curl, and I've just pulled the hair a little bit, so I've put it into the elastic, and then just pulled at these strands to give a little bit of volume. We'll just show the other side quickly, and the same on that side. And then you just want to put this bit of hair out of your way, so I'm just going to use a clip and just slide that through and just leave that out my way. So now I've just divided the rest of this hair into two, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to get a really small section of hair from the bottom but I'm going to angle my comb, so watch what I do. I'm making almost like a little triangular shape on that side and again a little triangular shape on the other side. I'm then just going to twist this hair out of my way and pop another grip in there. So this little bit of hair here, now both these strands get combined together and a little elastic's going to go in here. Take this clip out, take this clip out and we're going to do the same. I'll just show you again. Taking the comb, making a small diagonal section like that. And again, just get these two sections, combine them together, smooth them out with your fingers and pop an elastic in. And then just repeat this all the way to the top, putting in the little ponytails with the diagonal sections until you get to about there. So once you've finished guys, that's what it should look like. All these little elastics just going up the back of the head like that. So you want to be left with three ponytails to start with. So I'm just going to put these other three ponytails out of my way. Like that. You're going to take that bottom ponytail, divide it into two. The second ponytail comes through those two pieces like that. And then these two get combined into the third like that. So these two here get combined into that one there. I'm then going to take one more ponytail down, pin the other two out of my way and repeat the process again. So the bottom ponytail gets divided into two, the second ponytail comes through and then these two get combined into the next one up. So one last time, I'm going to take one more ponytail down, so you've got three ponytails. Okay, one, two, three. So this ponytail at the bottom gets divided into two. The second ponytail comes through the middle of those two sections, and then these two pieces get combined with this ponytail, like that, okay? So when I'm down to the last two ponytails, I'm just going to take the one from underneath and again, just combine it to this top one here. 
so that's the very top ponytail that you did at the beginning these two sections are going to get combined into that so at the end you're left with this braid going up the back of the head with two ponytails and I'm just going to pop these ponytails out of my way we're then going to go back to the bottom and just pull on the edges of this braid here next I'm just going to release all this hair here so this top ponytail I'm just going to make like a bun out of this so you can do this in lots of different ways but I've decided just to break it in half break that strand in half and give it a bit of a back comb so this little bit of back combed hair there that you've just done you're just going to lay that across the front of the hair and then we're just going to pin on the other side so you're just going to take your long grip and just pin that piece of hair can you see just by pushing in that grip like that and now I'm just going to take this other part of the hair and again give it a bit of back comb I'm not even using any spray here guys I'm just using my comb I'm just giving a little bit of structure to that hair Then just want to smooth out the top of your back comb really gently. So again, you're just going to take this bit of back combed hair, just wrap it across the front like that, smoothing any bits down and pinning on the other side. Now I'm going to take this last section of hair and again I'm just going to divide it into two and then I'm just going to back comb this top section here and again you just want to smooth out those sides and the back of that back comb and then this section of hair is just going to be draped across the front and again I'm just going to pin this hair into place and then on the last bit now I'm just going to take these last two sections, fluff up the left side, smooth it out and then pin it this way. And then on this last bit here I'm just going to take this last bit and just position it where I want it and pin that bit. So I'm just going to come back to these front bits now and get my straighteners and just hold onto the strands, turn it towards the head, going that way, going back away from the face, and then at the end just straighten. So it's a very soft curl that you're doing. So that is the style finish, so that was just one way you could do the bun, but you could do like a messy bun, a donut bun, whatever you wanted to. So I'm just going to ask Anna just to pop her head forward, and then you can just see the front of that, I just like how it sweeps around like that, I'm just going to move her, and then I'll just do a quick 360 turn for you. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget you can find us on Instagram at Sweetheart's Hair Design.